Um, a lot of people see me do this or see athletes do it and say, oh, that's just for hurdlers, uh, a myth, okay? Uh, even as a young coach, I didn't do it with any athlete but my hurdlers. Uh, throughout the years, I have this, I've done this with every client, every athlete I work with has to do hurdle mobility. So the first thing on hurdle mobility uh, we focus on is uh, raising our knee. It focuses on our hip strength, okay, our hip flexor strength, okay? So key reasons why we do hurdle mobility, knee lift. Okay? Hip flexor strength, balance, core, okay? It opens your hips up, okay? A lot of movements where you have to rotate them or circular motions, okay? It teaches the athlete to lift, okay? The things that go into sprinting, running fast, playing football, stealing bases, etc. So that's the basis of hurdle mobility. First thing we want to discuss is lining up the hurdles. Athletes, make sure the hurdles are facing each other one by one as we have them stacked over here. Now, when going over the hurdle, you always want to go over the hurdle from the front, as we will demonstrate here. If you go over the reverse side of the hurdle, the wrong side of the hurdle, the hurdle will not move. It is dangerous, okay? If you clip yourself going over the hurdle, it will not move forward and you can fall, break a neck, okay? So as a safety precaution, all athletes, coaches, and parents, please make sure you are going over the hurdles properly. So we've got several drills that we do with hurdle mobility, starting with single leg walkovers. On one of our drills titled over under, this is the proper way to go under the hurdle. You want to place the hurdle under sideways, and as you place it under sideways, you want to start using your momentum in a side squatting motion. 